Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today we've got an eight pound bone-in prime rib roast that we are gonna smoke on my Camp Chef pellet grill. So stick around, see how we do it. If you're new here, I'm here to show you that backyard barbecue can be fun and easy. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to keep up with my latest content. Be sure to like the video and write me a comment. Let me know what you think of this prime rib roast or that Camp Chef pellet grill. Now let's get started. All right, so for this bone-in prime rib roast, we actually had the butcher cut the bones off and tie them back on. Just makes things a little bit easier to work with. We're gonna do something very simple with this today. I've got some olive oil and some awesome spices by Spiceology that we're gonna use to season this up. So why don't you come in here and I'll show you how we do it. So for this prime rib, we're gonna do something really simple and I'm gonna use just a little bit of olive oil as a binder to get the seasoning to stick. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in my gloves and I'm just going to rub all over this prime rib. And like I said, we don't want too much. We just wanna almost glaze it up just a little bit just to get that seasoning to stick. And I'm gonna go all the way around, even on the bone side, which, you know, we don't really need to do, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now that we've got the binder on, I'm gonna use one of my favorite prime rib rubs, and that is the Spiceology Prime Rib Rub. Once again, Spiceology, you make it really difficult with that shaker lid. You're gonna have to open this up and pour it on. I want a nice healthy coat of this seasoning and I'm just gonna take the back side of my glove and I'm gonna make sure that that seasoning is sticking. And I'm just gonna finish it up here on the top side. And this was already trimmed by the butcher. It looked pretty good. There wasn't too much of a fat cap or anything like that. So truthfully, I left it tied straight from the butcher and really didn't do any trimming at all. We've got the prime rib seasoned up. We're gonna let it sit here on the cutting board and start to sweat for a little bit while we get the grill fired up and ready to go. Now I've already got the grill fired up and you may ask, why is that? I like to start off these big cooks with a nice clean grill. So I spent about an hour this morning really scraping and cleaning out my Camp Chef so that this $100 piece of meat had a chance for success. I've got the B&B Championship Blend pellets. These are some premium pellets, so I'm gonna get them loaded up into the grill. I put the prime rib roast on a wire rack. That's gonna allow some smoke penetration from the bottom as well as easy transport when we're moving it around inside the grill. I've got my Camp Chef preheated to 225 degrees with smoke level 10. Let's go ahead and get this prime rib into the grill. All right, let's get this thing opened up. And I'm gonna set this the thin side towards the back. We've had the prime rib in for about an hour now. I've got the ThermPro TP25. I'm gonna put two probes in that prime rib so that we can monitor this thing as it cooks. All right, so I'm gonna take this probe here and I'm gonna kind of measure to see how deep we have to go to go to about center. That looks about right. And I'm gonna come in from the side here and go about center of that prime rib and get that thing right into the center. And then I'm gonna take another one from the top and we're gonna do about the same. We need it to go about yay deep and I'm gonna go in at an angle just so I know that the lid's not getting in the way. All right, the probes are in the prime rib and we're gonna to continue to monitor the temperature. We're looking for 115 degrees in the center. At that point, we're gonna pull the prime rib out, crank the grill up to 400 degrees and sear up the outside a little bit. We'll see you then. All right, we are two hours in. Just wanna show you what this looks like. It is looking spectacular. Check that out. This eight pound prime rib has been in the Camp Chef at 225 degrees for three hours now. And we just hit 115 degrees internal temperature. We're gonna pull this thing out, get the grill set to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna sear it. Check that out. I'm gonna pull these probes out. 
careful because those will be hot. And this is where that wire rack comes in handy. Get the lid closed here. Get this set to 400 degrees. We can get that in so that outside crisps up a little bit until we get an internal temperature of 125 degrees. But until then, we're gonna let this grill get up to temperature. To retain some of this heat, we're gonna wrap this in foil while we wait for that grill to get up to temperature. All right, we've had this prime rib resting for about 15 minutes while the grill got up to 400 degrees. It's time to get it in there to get that sear on. All right, we're gonna get this right back in here on the center, and we're gonna monitor the temperature just like we did before. We've got the probe right on top and the probe in the side. We're looking for 125 degrees internal temperature, and we'll check in a few. All right, we've hit 125 degrees internal temperature. We're gonna pull this prime rib off. Check that out. We pulled the prime rib at 125 degrees. We're gonna let this rest for about 15 and 20 minutes while we get that carry over through the center of that meat. We'll see you then. All right, the prime rib has rested for about 20 minutes now. It's time to cut that kitchen twine off and take a look to see what we've done. Let's do it. Just gonna get in here with my slicing knife here and just get this twine off. All right, I'm just gonna carefully separate. Oh, look at those rib bones. Those look delicious. We're gonna set that off to the side and I'm gonna cut this right in the center and show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, check that out. All right, I'm gonna cut off a nice thick slice for myself here. And my favorite is that spinalis. So I'm gonna cut off a chunk of that spinalis and get our first taste here. Now I love me some prime ribs, so let's see how we did today. Mmm. Wow. That melts in your mouth. That is phenomenal. Damn. That is one delicious prime rib. And if you want your prime rib to look and taste this good, then follow this recipe, and I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out that recommended video, then my Facebook and my Instagram pages. I'll see you there.